I just to say I I love the whole representation and everything of what you what you guys do. And as much as I like to support, and because it's it, it's not enough, but the artwork, the the storylines, it. It's not just like oh I just you know support just to be supporting like this is this is good stuff and what what's next after this like uh, are we going to see some buffalo soldiers in there uh, connected to history or whatnot you're you're asking in reference to what do we have planned for the storyline for the future or uh, oh, oh. next projects it could be in uh, Tuskegee I don't know but like um, what's what's next. Uh, building on or, or uh, storylines or whatnot. Yeah. Um, so Tuskegee Airs, we're trying to. It's no secret we're trying to uh, get some animation happening with that. That will be almost all encompassing. Uh, we'll still be able to manage the comic book stuff. Um, I have another comic called The Search for Sadika that's coming out uh, hopefully in the next month. Got like four pages left, so we're on a good target. Um, and then Marcus has Supernatural, uh, so we'll still be doing those. I do children's books as well, so we'll still be going with that. But um, right now we're like knee deep trying to get this animation thing solidified. Uh, and once that gets going, maybe we'll introduce some of our other you know, projects that we have. We've been working together for probably as long as some of y'all have been alive. Uh, <laughs> so so uh, yeah, we'll... Um, definitely be releasing some of our other stuff down the line yeah the, um, I guess to the to the content question uh, side of it is you know is there other pieces of history is there other elements that are going to be incorporated into Tuskegee years um, the premise that we have set for Tuskegee years is going to be you know them traveling around the world so we're talking about uh, we have a mission where they go they fly over the Nazca lines uh, issue two um, they go to Mexico and they see the Olmec heads um, and they're, you know, they're the vehicle for our audience to actually, they are teenagers, um, and they're seeing, I guess, lesser focused on history. Uh, World War, yeah, stuff. and it's, it's not lesser history, it's just, you may not have saw this in your, you know, history book. Um, and we, you know, there's undertones, of course, as we, the, the writers, and he's a history major. Um, as you live in America, you understand why you didn't see it in your history book. Um, but we're not trying to necessarily, I guess, uh, present it in a way to argue. It's just, look at how amazing the world is. Look at this culture that's supposed to be, you know, this, uh, you know, um, they, yeah, savage, all these, these, these like terms that they put Primitive. In this, primitive yeah. and savage and, oh, but it's a giant boulder that's higher than this room that was a part of a mountain that, you know, like two plus miles away. How did this primitive culture bring this giant boulder and then carve it to look like, you know, this uh, wonderful face? And, and it stays for like a couple yeah, thousand years. Thousands of like, years, you know, uh, things <laughs> like that. So uh, we are going to incorporate history whenever we can, um, as often as possible. Again, our audience is in all <coughs> ages. So we write it in a way where we've had adults say, I've never heard of, I've never heard of an Olmec head. What is that? We're like, well, use Google right now, <laughs> pull it up. Um, so the kids are gonna keep going. Uh, I love uh, issue four, we're working on that now. Oh my God. And there's, uh, <laughs> oh my God. there's like, a, <laughs> there's like a, a, an homage uh, where the kids are traveling. We're showing that, you know, just in a couple of pages, but they're, they're visiting some amazing sites. And I'm doing research and I'm just like, you know, I had to stop drawing and, and I found a video about one of the sites and I'm like, oh, this changes everything visually. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta do this justice. So um, we definitely wanna keep putting that in. Uh, there's uh, American history, worldwide history, uh, things like that coming. So. Hey fanboys, hey fangirls. If you enjoyed the video and you wanna see more, click that subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell. Follow us on social media. You can reach me at Carnell Holly on Twitter, at MadDragon2000, on Instagram, and we're on iTunes. Check out our podcast called Writer's Roulette. Give it a listen, leave a review. But until then, you know where to find us.